Hi guys, how you doing? Um, it was mentioned recently when I read to you from this wonderful pamphlet, Keep Fit, a book for boys, that it might be interesting to see what they say about playing. So I thought I might read you what they say. Uh, there's all sorts in here, and um, the more I look at this, the more, the more I think it's, it's just a work of joy. Um, but we'll leave the rest of it for now. And I will read to you the section that comes just after tobacco, entitled Playing. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Play some game. It helps you to work better. In the stern days of the Great War, a famous battalion went over the top with a football and in the excitement of dribbling it towards the enemy's trenches, forgot all about the German bullets. In the same way, playing a game will help you to forget the troubles of life. Playing the game will teach you the teamwork which is the secret of success in life. It teaches you to play and work for your side, and not only for yourself. If in the workshop or the office you work for your pals as well as with them, you will find yourself a popular chap, not only with them, but with everybody else. In business, if you work for the firm, and not for yourself only, your firm is certain to notice it and to appreciate it. Before you play a game, change your clothes if you possibly can. Try to keep a cheap pair of cotton shorts and a jersey for playing in. These will save your ordinary clothes and help keep you clean. They are comfortable and can easily be well washed, ironed and aired, particularly if you have electricity in the house. When you play, you will sweat freely and the sweat will soak into your clothes. This not only makes your clothes smell, but is very irritating to the skin if allowed to remain in the garments. After the game, don't change back into your ordinary clothes till you have had a good rub down. The exercise will have opened all your pores, and the moist surface will soon feel chilly if you don't copy the action of every intelligent groom. After a game of polo, the groom immediately starts to rub down the pony. The groom knows this is good for the pony, and the intelligent animal likes it. Grooming is as good for lads as it is for horses. Keep yourself well groomed. Um, it's hard to disagree, really, isn't it? Again, it's I I I love the phrasing of this. The 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 way it's written that snapshot of life in the 40s for a well-to-do gentleman trying to pass on his advice to a young chap who wants to grow up into a fine upstanding man um i think it's delightful and i'm and i'm really glad i picked it up i i can't actually remember where i got it from um but but yeah it's a wonderful thing and i hope you're enjoying it as much as me so thanks to all my subscribers uh, thanks to everyone that's watched this all the way to the very end. Give me a thumbs up if you've got to the end. Um, it's quite an achievement. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, it would be great if you subscribed. Stick something in the comments, say hello. Uh, I always try very hard to answer every comment that gets put there. And, and a big special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.